So step five is to put the thread behind this little fish hook is what I call it. So use your right thumb and pointer finger to hold the thread nice and tight and then your left thumb and pointer finger and get it right behind the hook. So it should be nice and tight there. Then you're going to take the end of your thread and you want to clip the end so that you have a nice straight edge. Hold the end of the thread like a fishy mouth. So use your pointer finger and your thumb and you're going to try to get the end of that thread through the needle, through the eye of the needle. Can't see much, but just the yeah, let me grab this up. <laughs> oh, you had it, didn't you? You want to tell them that trick you just did? No. <laughs> Alright, so you are going to use your thumb and your pointer finger to push that thread through. Once it comes through the eye of the needle, you're then going to pull the thread out to the back of the machine. Do you see how I'm using my pointer finger to hold this top part of the thread? I want to make sure it doesn't get tangled into the presser foot. Once it's nice and tight, I'm then going to take the thread and put it through what I call the flip-flop or the toes of your presser foot. So you're going to put your thread right through the slit on the presser foot and then pull it to the back. That's it? 